what up everybody etn the euc it is february 24th it's uh 5 11 pm the goal for tonight is 200 dollars, which is definitely doable considering how busy it's been lately it's been pretty easy to make that if i wanted to also it's a friday so we can stay out later than usual if need be it will be busier later in the night it's gonna get kind of cold tonight i got three layers on a thin layer a medium layer and then my outer coat i think it's gonna hit like in the 30s and then going towards 12 a.m it's gonna hit like high 20s or something like that but it's also kind of windy at the moment and uh that's that's really the killer so yeah first time watching the channel welcome in this channel we do food deliveries for uber eats grubhub and doordash on electric unicycles in manhattan tonight we're on the veteran sherman max all right guys let's get into it so those who have been following my videos for the last few episodes you know that i've been having issues with my gopro at first i thought it was the gopro then i found out it's a battery basically what was going on is you know the battery was over 40 percent and it kept shutting off and then i got an error message on the gopro saying it was shutting off due to low battery obviously a Woo! I man, I always get hit with wind right here. Hold up, I got a fluffy on the microphone, but like when the wind hits me, all I hear is whoosh. I can't even barely even hear myself talk. Let's try this again. Yeah, so like I was saying, I was having an issue with the with the batteries. Couldn't figure out why it was shutting down too early, even though the batteries had high percentage left. Blah blah blah. I did some research, found out it was the lithium ion batteries shutting early because it was too cold out here. Uh, I guess GoPro is notorious for their battery shutting down in cold weather, which is kind of ironic because it's a uh, action camera. So I ended up buying the Enduro batteries from GoPro. Supposedly they can work all the way down to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. When you get lower than that, then you could start having issues. So I'm actually using them right now. We're going to see how they work. Hopefully the, the camera doesn't shut down. We'll find out. You know, I try not to buy it because it's almost 50 bucks for the, like two batteries. It's like keep spending shit for something that you shouldn't have had to spend in the first place, in my opinion. So I was trying not to buy these. I was holding off and uh, eventually I just bought them because just the hassle of what I was going to do i was gonna take the batteries i wasn't using stick them in my pocket and then put a hot hand in there to keep them warm so that way you know i could switch out the batteries they want to die on me in cold weather but instead of going through all that i just bought the enduro battery so we're gonna see how they go got two orders matching 3.4 1507 for two deliveries and then we've got another 1103 for 2.8 so it looks like we got the 15 dollar one which is the one i really wanted gem bing shop okay i've never been here before it's off st mark's place what the hell is this place Oh, I gotta go up these stairs. Ugh. Yeah, I've never been here before, but I'm not gonna carry my EUC because it looks like I can just stand out here. Hi, I gotta pick up for Joan. Okay, no problem. I used to watch this YouTube channel that basically told the history of New York and like this area right here, like if you look up on that building up there, it's in German. Uh, I guess like a lot of Germans used to live in this specific area. So yeah, all the buildings here are like in German and on St. Mark's, a lot of them, if you look up. Next pickup is John's of 12th Street. I don't think I've ever been there either. About four minutes to the north. I've been here before actually, it's just been a while. Traditional and vegan Italian restaurant. All right. If you saw there, they had like five servers just standing there looking at me. So I decided to take it upon myself and go up to them and ask them for the, the order. <laughs> They're like, what do we do? It's like they didn't train us how to talk to food delivery drivers. First drop off is eight minutes to the north. So this building has like a west tower and an east tower. So I gotta go on the west. This is the east tower. So I gotta go around the, the other side. See, you got the east. Well, I don't have to go. Well, yeah, I do actually. I can't go in here. <laughs> Yeah, so the doorman sent me to the 26th floor. I had to go back down and tell him. 23rd floor, dude. This is one of these elevators that uh, you can't just push the buttons yourself. The doorman has to send you up. Level 23. 
Second drop off says about seven minutes to the north. So I said, yep. Sorry, I gotta give him a call anyway, thank you. So they didn't give me an apartment number on here, so give him a call. Hello? Hi, food delivery. I, I arrived. Uh, I don't I don't see an apartment number on here. I don't see your name on here. Yeah. yeah. I'll come down. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Twenty one oh one, two deliveries, four point seven miles. I'll take that. Here you go. Thank you so much. Thanks, have a good one. All right, so the one for, I think it was like 21 something. First pickup is Raku, it's Japanese. <laughs> I know I butcher these names, man. I'm trying my best, okay? But anyway, yeah, it's a block up here. I've been here plenty of times in the past. Sometimes you gotta wait, sometimes you don't. Put the EUC right there, cause I can see it through the window. not ready yet so this is actually uh looks like a sushi place and uh what i've noticed is sushi obviously it takes longer because it's like hand prepared on the spot as you see what they're doing right now i don't know if you can see that so i had to wait exactly 12 minutes 12 minutes Second pickup is called Haru or something. Three minutes to the south. I keep forgetting that I'm on a freaking Sherman. I could go fast. Kaoru. Kaoru. I've never been here before. looks like me first drop off is about 16 minutes to the south going all the way to second street so far so good with these uh, enduro batteries no issues yes the other night i recorded the batteries were going dead early and it wasn't even that cold out i think it was like in the 40s or something like that which i've never had issues before in the cold but what happened is it's the wind you know the wind just hits this GoPro. And when I'm not recording, the GoPro is not getting hot. So it just like cools it, you know? Like tonight it's really windy and it's cold. So if it holds up tonight, then the Enduro batteries are definitely good. Definitely doing its job. Thanks. Man, they got heavy ass doors in New York. These doors are thick. This one says meet at door, gonna get my knock. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, have a good one. You too. Next drop off says about nine minutes to the west. McDougal Street. McDougal Street. McDougal Street. I think it's McDougal Street. <laughs> it's basically like what I would consider, it's not official, but the NYU Street. In other words, the New York University Street because it's like the party street. It's where all the bars are and all the restaurants. Right by NYU, McDougal Street. It gets busier at night. Well, it'll get busier as the night goes on. I mean, I would say like the heart of Mac Dougal Street is a uh, creepery. Man, all these names I just butcher. Every single name, streets, store names. But for some reason, they all like conjugate on the creepery, <laughs> which is like a dessert place. I don't know. It's like right in the middle of that little block. So this apartment looks like the very last one. Hi, yes. Thanks for beating me down here. Yeah, <laughs> I saw I saw the number. I was like, man. It's, a long way, yeah. it's, it's all good. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you so Have much. Have a good night. Thank you. So that was cool. Came down to meet me, so I didn't have to walk all the way up there. Here's how long that one took me, because originally it said that devil would take me 42 minutes. That was the estimate that Uber gave me. So I don't know. let me see. 
for twenty one dollars. I have to wait an hour for the all the tips to come through, but it took forty four minutes. So Uber's pretty close. I mean, it likely accounted for waiting at that sushi place. They get all the the averages of you know all the drivers waiting times at stores and stuff, and they they calculate it. Like even though I had to wait at that one shop for like twelve minutes, it was still pretty close. Like this overall time, like it originally it said forty two, forty four minutes. So pretty damn close, man. Oh, 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 oh